All right, but now for all of you who are really practical, this is wonderful theory, but this has all of the evils in it of putting information on the stack and uh, loading up so that you then have to make recursive calls to do this, and programs that do that run very, very inefficiently. So what you would like to do is to be able to do this in a loop. So for anybody in this course who is a computer scientist or an engineer, I really, really, really encourage you to go to uh, the course website, scan down right to the bottom, and you'll see a bunch of programs there. And here's one. It's called gcd underscore lcm dot c. And it's a, it's a program that once compiled, you run it on the command line, and it asks you to input integers n and m. And then once you input those, it solves the greatest common divisor problem. And it does this backtracking, but it does it in a forward way with a loop. And so it uses almost no space because you're just throwing away your old values and replacing them with new values. So no backtracking is required, and it runs very, very fast. So uh, independent of the coding, minor coding details, this is what Maple is actually doing. It's running a loop. It's not doing backtracking. Induction is a very, very powerful tool. And it is amazing to realize that in advanced work in computer science, engineering, and mathematics, it is still the case that the vast majority of proofs and explanations are simply induction. That's all they are. But they are much much more complicated than the examples that you have here. Uh, in my 140 research papers, I probably have, I don't know, 300 proofs by induction. The shortest one will take a paragraph, and the longest one takes 60 pages. Yeah, so a 60-page proof by induction is pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. 